loose and catch the wind. Reef the topsails and gallants. Safe and sound at home again. Let the waters roar. Jack. Loose all. Let's. Let the waters roar, Jack. Long we tossed on the rolling main. Now we're safe ashore, Jack. Don't forget your old ship mate. We're heading on the land, sir. Ease off the wind. As much sail as you can. Blue sails, let's catch the wind. On the rolling main, now we're safe ashore, Jack. Don't forget. You. Damn the devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. Then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the colonel can hold it. You heard the captain, lads! Make haste! Mains out! Let's go! Mains loose! Have a word. Segawas's work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? Burn! You 
truly believe you can best me, traitor? Templar dog! Burn! Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? Burn! Templar... We trained you well, traitor! Kisigawase... It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? Liam. Uh, uh. The man with an axe was chasing the colonel! An assassin took it. Liam, I'll get it back. I swear it. Shay.
Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shea Cormac. Shea has seen the true face of the world. And he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work. But a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories.
Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. I've got your animus ready and waiting. and put you back to work. Shit! What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back and notch it down. See if you can complete the memory this time. Got it. Chase in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Is that you? 
Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Thank you, Shay. Please wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. Everyone is safe and sound. These ruffians have followed us. There's more of them. you do that? It was quite fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged.
That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new Don of Precursor Arc. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, He's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his... He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. I'm the kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Do you know? It's not so All the day could be valuable cargo. I've heard Louisville could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. I just turn it. General Wolf will give that Craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. Anyone care for a swim? <laughs> Why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in hell.
He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the Order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man... ...an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear we'll take more than that, friend. The storm's passing! HMS Pembroke, Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war, fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Trip. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac? Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. 
You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Kenway is correct, Captain. But most advantageous right now. Short save! Avoid her round at all costs! Your back, Captain! Ready those mortars, Shay. Ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Credit. We're right in their path. We have to sink that liner ship or get out of their options. way. Great. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Hostile warship ready, Captain. I believe Master Kenway is correct, Captain. Most, most advantageous right now. We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! More enemy ships, sir! And more fire ships! This is hopeless. Perhaps it would be wiser to fall back. Foreign wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Yeah! Fire! Keep on us They are fire! We're running right that path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! Enemy ships, sir! And more fire! 
Leadership! This is hopeless. Perhaps it would be wiser to fall back. War and wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Yeah! Fire! Ready those mortars, Shay. Fire! Fire! Mortars incoming, Shay! Fire! Ready those mortars, Shay. Ready to lose all and trip sharp to the wind. Back off or she'll blow us out of the water! She's sunk! We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning! That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. But Wale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassin. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the.
some word. Fishing off Hayes Broad The ancient hill of Arushi over there, sir. Yes, 
sunk, Captain! They are firing a volley! To the wind. Loose capsules, gallants and royals. All sails! Stop souls, gallants and royals! Hey! Ships may come and ships may go as long as the seas do blow. Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. At a Wally. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed. Gentlemen. The 
force just up. As much step. Saints for service. What is that doing here? That makes no sense. Those rivers barely have enough draft for an ocean-going vessel. She'll be nearly impossible to maneuver. Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. Let's stay out of her way. We can find our way around her. Just keep to the smaller rivers where she can't follow. And do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Why would the French bring such a ship inland? As the war is drawing to its close, they're becoming desperate. They'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. It's not really my type. Ah, but the French ones can have a certain charm. Did I ever tell you the story of Madame Vrenette? <laughs> that wasn't her real name, but... But, oh, time. Point is, I think I know a safe place where we can debark. Sail on! So what's the plan? We bombard the fort? It would be foolhardy to simply storm that fort. Aye. We need to know what we're up against. I can prepare that. Indeed. Let's find a safe place to dock. Brief the top sills and garlands. Aye, sir. I'll keep her close, and I'll keep her safe. Good luck, Shay. I make my own luck. Master Kenway. Thank you. 
Attends-la Oh. 
Templars sent their dog after me. Time to test your metal chain. away. If only he'd stand still and fight me. Abumali is facing you on his own terms, picking the battlefield. And on his own ship, he is most deep. Fight those barters! Else we'll be swimming home tonight! The thrill is getting uncomfortably narrow. Don't you worry, sir. 
Shea has gotten us out of tighter scrapes before. And the link ahead is a dead end. And a Wally won't be able to get out. away. If only he'd stand still and fight me. Uncle Marley is facing you on his own terms, picking the battlefield. And on his own ship, he's most deep. Find those martyrs, else we'll be swimming home tonight. This river's getting uncomfortably narrow. Don't you worry, sir. She has gotten us out of tighter scrapes before. And the link ahead is a dead end. And a Wally won't be able to get out. Not but air! Floating cargo... Get it, fire! A novel tactic. He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. Follow him, Shay. I will try to corner him.
Forgive me, Adewale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, she. Perhaps I have. Come. At this point, the wars aren't really over, but the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the Assassins. 
They still have hundreds of men working for them in New York. Let us see what role Shea plays. What is our progress on the Precursor matter? We are gathering ships and supplies, but it is difficult without a specific destination. My men can help. I have enough to spare for a crew as well, Chevalier. Hope has found a way to reproduce Master Franklin's experiment. We'll soon uncover the next Precursor site. And you are confident you can do this? I am a keen observer, Mentor. The device will be ready shortly. Very good. Keep me apprised. We've yet to find where Hope is hiding, and most criminals in New York report to her now. I better find the Grand Master.
a good line on him. Things are worse than we feared. The assassins found a way to make the precursor box work. They're already preparing an expedition. Then we must stop them. Hope controls hundreds of men. And the authorities are doing sod all. What if we were to impersonate her men? We could commit a crime so big, they couldn't ignore those damned brigands anymore. That sounds like an excellent plan, Jack. Make it so. I will find out where the assassins are hiding. Is it just me, or did the boss tell us to make trouble? Enjoy it while you can, Shay. <laughs> 